Hey guys, Gibbo here, and today I'm going to show you a technique called painting with light. Now, it doesn't involve any studio equipment. All it requires is a tripod, a camera, and the torch on your cell phone. So the two key pieces of equipment you need are a tripod and a camera that can shoot in manual mode. Okay, so to achieve this technique, there are two things you have to do. One is turn your camera onto manual mode. This way you can control your aperture, your shutter speed, and your ISO. The technique requires you to shoot your photo with a long duration. What I mean by that is, when you push down your trigger button to fire the shot, you want your camera to be taking the photo over 15 to 20 seconds, so that you have enough time to record light as you're moving around the picture. And in order for you to get a long exposure, the second thing you need to do is make sure you're shooting in a completely blacked out room. So the settings I've got on this camera that I'm shooting with is f18, so my aperture is really small because I don't want to let a lot of light in because then I'll, I'll have to reduce this, the, the shutter speed. I've already set a focal point on my characters so that uh, it's not fighting with autofocus. So turn your lens onto manual, find your point of focus, because shooting in the dark, your camera might battle to find its focal point. So make sure you get your focal point in before you shoot and put it onto manual. So let's give this a go. And the camera's on. So I'm aiming my light above. I want my direction of light to be coming from the top. So I'm putting more light along the top and then I'm going to give a little bit of light down onto Bowser's legs, a little bit here onto Deadpool's side of the face, onto his legs, but I'm aiming more for above because I want the general direction of light to come from above. So that's the camera taken, the shot. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. I'm going to show you a photo that I'm going to zoom out uh, so it's, it's really wide and I'll show you what the light actually does when I'm doing this technique. So make sure you give enough room around your figures to play with light. Now there are also very cool apps uh, that can change the screen of your smartphone to different colors. I use one called Color Screen and what it allows you to do is you can adjust the hue of your screen to any color. You can adjust the saturation and the brightness. So you basically have a whole colorful studio light set in your pocket on your smartphone and when using this painting light technique, you can really go to town with putting in colors. So there we have it guys. That is basically the technique called painting with light. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think. If you haven't tried it before, I'd love to see what you guys can come up with. And remember, it's pretty simple. You don't need a lot of equipment. It's a tripod, your camera on manual, and your torch on your cell phone. One or two apps maybe to get different colors, but that's it. So let me know what you think guys, and we'll catch you next time. Cheers.